Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Illusion of Gaia. Now the first thing I want to do before I forget is equip that. Because I'm going to need it later. Okay. But I'm not going to need it for this part. Because here we just want to... Oh, well I failed right away. I'm going to save as much health as po possible for the next stage. Yes, there's two stages. Don't, did, not that I want to spoil anything, but... For this part, you can only hit him once, and then he goes into this dropping random things everywhere. But he only has half of a bar of health, so that's okay. I'm not very good at that part, am I? <laughs> this isn't good. There we go. Didn't get hit that time. One more. Then it's on to the fun part. There we go. Okay. I didn't have to melt there, I just felt like it. Now this is the hard part. So, you can block those green things, but you cannot block the blue ones. And the only way to avoid that big laser beam is to shrink into a puddle or get out of the way. But the only time she's vulnerable is when she's doing that. So you kind of have to stand under here the whole time. And just wait. Sometimes I usually just like spam shooting the whole time. Just so I get the maximum damage in at all times. There's some bubbles out of the way when you get a chance. Melt so you don't get hit. Because that big wide laser takes like eight full bubbles of health, like tons of damage. So yeah, just block the green ones, clear bubbles when you can, make sure your timing is good on the melting. Oh, that sucked, I blocked too, too, uh, too late. But almost dead now, as long as I, I remember to block. Block. Because those green things have a homing property too, they follow you if you try to dodge them. So you can't really dodge them. And then you can't block the blue ones, so it's kind of tricky balance. There we go. Okay, uh, well, uh, I have time for most of the 